All right, everyone. First of all, thank you so much, everyone, to join this webinar. Everything is fine. Can you hear me, everyone? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for confirmation. All right, so in this webinar, we are going to do market analysis in a measure Forex currency pair. And after that, I will do cover gold and Bitcoin also include Nifty or Bank Nifty. Okay. So first of all, I will start from the Forex measure pair, higher time frame to lower time frame. What happening in our measure pair in a Euro USD and GP USD. And after that, I will start in a gold, Bitcoin and other pair. Right. So after uh, finish the webinar, I mean, finish the market analysis you can ask me your question answer in a chat section but right now you have to okay you have to wait for it to complete the webinar and listen and watch carefully okay i'm going to start from the higher time frame to lower time frame start from the euro usd that what happening in a weekly daily time frame to lower time frame structure so I will start from daily time frame. What happening here? In a daily time frame structure, you can see here market momentum was bullish, and now market slightly pushing downside and pushing downside here, right? In a higher time frame, in a lower time frame, same thing happening here. But as per the current structure, if you mark the structure here, so market already created a chalk here, right? Why? Because market created the previous higher high was here and the previous high low at this point here. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay, so this is the previous structure here. You know, the previous structure was created at this time. This is a previous higher high and market created the break of structure at this point. When market momentum is a bullish and then what happening here? Okay, so in this case, you can see when market momentum is a bullish, okay. Then you have to wait for it to take out the indie span before to continue go higher. But when market break the previous low, okay. So when market break the previous low, this one is a called a chalk. Why this is a chalk? Because market created break the previous low is a major low. This one is a called chalk here, right? So this one is our previous chalk here. And this is our previous higher high was created at this point right here. Okay. So this one is our previous structure in a EURUSD in a daily time frame structure. So right now what happening here? In this case, we are looking here for the sell. Why? Because market momentum shift bullish to bearish here. Before this move, market was bullish here. Everything was bullish and now turn into bearish. Now at the point, we are looking here for sell after taking out the indies man. After taking out the indies man, you have to sell on this unmitted shadow here, right? So this one is a called decisional PY is here. And this point become our inducement because after uh, this job in a higher time frame, first pullback is taken out. This one is called inducement. 
and press mitigate this supply zone and then we can sell here right so this one is our first py is here and this one is called decisional py here right and what about extreme extreme always top of the move so you have to start from the top of the move this one is our unmitigated order block is here in future if market tap here and create any lower time frame confirmation then definitely you can sell here because this one is a called extreme py here right but right now what are you looking here this is one is our internal structure here in this case you can short term buy or sell after taking out the inducement as you can see here this one is a taken out inducement mitigate your unmitigated order block order flow then we can buy and same thing happening here take the previous high and now again what are you looking here we are looking here for the buy after taking out the inducement so in this case there is any inducement created here no why because this one is our single leg move here so simply you have to wait for it to take out the main low is here which one is here so market already taken out this low and after taking out this low and we can expect that market continue go higher till this extreme py mitigation here right because market not create any pullback is here if market create any inducement any pullback then definitely we can buy it. okay same thing happening here the previous higher high higher low inducement taken out mitigate order block here and then we can go higher in this case market not create any inducement so main low act like a major inducement is here taken out and we can buy here in a lower time frame confirmation and where is our target our target the first high become our first target is here right and before this this one is our target okay but this one is a daily time frame when you switch in a lower time frame this will be very higher time frame okay so this one is our py when we are expecting that market continue go higher to mitigate this supply zone and before this supply mitigation you can switch here in a lower time frame to play for the short term buy and sell so market taken out the daily time frame liquidity simply have to switch here in a one hour two hour time frame for the lower time frame confirmation but here you can play in a four hour time frame which is very fine for the uh, day trading and swing trading perspective okay sorry so this one is here the previous low is a taken out and after taking out the previous low you are looking here for the buy in this case simply you have to wait for it to take out break the first high and when market break the first high and this one is a called chalk i'm talking about daily and four hour time frame right this one is a called chalk and after chalk what are you looking at we are looking here for the buy after taking out the inducement so in this case there is any inducement or not yes available here the first pullback is a called inducement once market taken out the first pullback then definitely you can buy here on the unmitigated order block is there right you can mark the entire zone is here something like this this one is the last sale move before this buy so if price type here then definitely you can buy here right here okay so you have to wait uh you have to pay attention till this pi mitigation if price type here then we can buy to the upside and simply the maximum target is here unmitigated py and the major target uh the first target is here this one right and this one is our maximum target is here right so this one is a possible scenario in a euro usd in a four hour time frame right now so short term you can sell till this py mitigation and then we can buy to the upside so let's check here the 50 minute time frame okay so in a 50 minute time frame you can see market are trying to push downside so market must be taken out this low before to continue go higher because this one is our four hour inducement here okay so right now the current price action is here looking for the uh, bullish and bears everything is a bullish and bears so when we can sell we can sell at least price must be taken out the inducement so in this case you have to follow here you can see here the previous high is a sweep here right the minor sweep here it means the last buying momentum before the sell is here right so in future if market mitigate this zone then definitely we can sell till the four hour inducement right this one this become our target if price type here and create any lower time frame confirmation then you can sell here like tap and sell here till this low right so this one is our possible scenario here and this is the internal structure here you can play in a both side but you have to focus on your pro trend okay don't try to buy or sell in a or uh, in a both side you can play in a both side but don't try to play in a both side why because the if you are trying to play in a both side then this will be much risky compared to the pro trend so you have to stuck on your paid pro trend okay so once market mitigate this zone then you have to think about the sell okay 
either if market pushing continue downside break this low taken out the investment mitigate anything here then you can sell here till this low right so this one is a possible scenario in a university in a 50 minute time frame in a four hour and daily time frame is here okay so i hope you can understand that what i'm trying to explain here before the buy and sell always you have to think before the buy and sell market must be taken out the inducement and also if market not taken out inducement then market must be create or taken out the liquidity before the buy or sell because inducement and liquidity are main important in smart money concept if market not taken out any kind of inducement or liquidity then don't try to buy or sell okay all right so now switch on next pair is a gvst Okay, so this one is our GPUSD chart here. Look at this one. In a GPUSD chart, similar thing happening here in a 15 minute time frame. Let's check our daily time frame first to see exactly what happening here. In a daily time frame, also a similar story like Euro USD. Right, this one is our previous structure here. This one is our previous higher high, higher low, again create higher high, right? And market big the previous low is here and this one is also called chalk and again what are you looking here we are looking here for sell because market create a chalk and one market create a chalk it means we are looking for sell after taking out the inducement and the next one is on extreme py this one right so basically this one is our decisional py here and this point is our extreme py is here right so this one is our extreme at this point okay so when price step on extreme point, then we can sell here. This one is our decisional and this one is extreme. So right now, what are you looking here? At the current situation, what happening here? Look at this internal structure here. When market momentum is available and taken out the inducement, we can buy till the extreme PI mitigation here. So in this case, market taken out the inducement. Where is our inducement and when we can expect? In this case, the first pullback is here, right? If market taken out this pullback, then we are looking here for the buy to the upside. So once market taken out this one, then we can think about the buy side to the upside. So short term, we are looking here for sell, push downside, and then we can go higher like this. Push downside and then go higher. Well, this PY mitigation here. If price type here and create here any kind of lower time frame confirmation, then we can sell till this low otherwise if market continue go higher and not create any lower time frame like any reversal confirmation and go higher then you have to buy here okay this one's a called supply convert into demand this one is a called flip nt module in a higher time frame as well as here okay so right now the current situation here market must be taken out this inducement before the buy to the upside so this one is our daily time frame structure if i show here in a four hour time frame then we can understand what happening here and what we are looking here. As per the uh, four hour time frame, you can see the previous structure here, our uh, type here, the previous lower lows here and the lower high is here, right? Because sweep here and this one is here. And this point confirm here because this one is the last break of structure at this point. Right, and in this case, simply you have to wait for it to take out the inducement before the sell here. So right now, this one is our inducement at this point. So simply, when market momentum is a bearish and not create any kind of inducement and create only single leg move here, so simply you have to wait for it to take out the main low or high before the sell. So in this case, only one high is here, which is, uh, which is must be taken out before the sell here. And this will be our target based on four hour time frame is there, right? Market trying to go higher and this is the internal structure here. So this can be your major inducement. If I switch here in a 15 minute time frame, then we can understand what happening in a 15 minute time frame. In a 15 minute time frame, market momentum is a bullish and everything is a bullish here. Market creating higher high is here. Previous higher high, break the structure, confirm another higher high, higher low. And this higher low is only confirmed when market break the previous high. So if market continue go higher and break this one and take an out inducement and if we can go higher if market not able to go higher and break the previous low which one is here so if break this low and then we can sell here right so this one is our possible scenario in a gpusd in a 15 minute time frame right now okay 
So this one is our current story in a GPUST in a 15 minute time frame. You can short term buy or sell right now here and same thing happening in a Euro USD. Okay, let's switch on gold here because gold are most tradable pair. Start from the higher time frame first. In our daily time frame, what happening here? Gold in our daily time frame structure is also a similar story because the market taking out the liquidity in our weekly and daily time frame is here. If you mark the previous higher high is here, then you can understand that market grab the liquidity. When market grab the liquidity, then very high chances that market take a pullback. At least the first pullback is here, right? So this one and this one, you can see same thing happening here. This is a bottom side and this one is a called demand zone. People are looking here for the buy because this one is a called historical demand and very strong demand zone. Why? Because everyone buying here and press tap here and create a reaction to the upside, right? And at this point, what happening here? This move happened only because to take out the liquidity. Once market grab the liquidity, then market give actual move to the upside and downside. Same thing happening here. On the top of the move, same thing here. So many times price type here. Okay, people are looking here for sell. Everyone selling here. And this side of grab all liquidity and grab all stop loss. And then we can expect our actual move to the downside. At least the fall, first pullback is here before to continue go higher. Okay, so if price taking out this low, mitigate this order block, and then we can plan to the upside for the short term maybe. Okay, because market just grab the liquidity, not close or wait. Right. So this one is an indication that market grab the external liquidity here. Right. Let's switch here in a lower time frame to see exactly what happening here. Then we can understand. This one is our weekly time frame inducement right here. Okay. So this one is our current situation in a gold in a four hour time frame this one is our previous structure if you mark the internal structure here lower lows here and lower high sweep break this low must be taken out of the inducement and after taking out the inducement we are looking here for sell but simply what happening here in this case you can buy or sell in a two scenario first one is that if market taken out the inducement and create any suv then we can sell so same thing happening here Market taken out the liquidity and create SUV entry model here. And when market create SUV, then we can sell here, right? Price tap here and give it a small action, but failed. It means market are looking for to collect more liquidity before the sell here. Okay, so when we can expect, we can expect or we can sell on hidden supply zone because just obviously there is no unlimited order block is here. So only this one is here. Technically, this one, right? So in the future, if market go higher and mitigate this zone, then definitely we can sell here, right? So this one is our next PY zone here. When we can sell in a gold, in a higher time frame picture. If I switch here in a 15 minute time frame, then we can see what happening here. In a 15 minute time frame, market momentum is a bullish here, and we can buy to the upside. This one is our previous higher high here, right? And previous higher low here. Why? Because this one. And break the structure, push downside, taking out the inducement, press mitigate this order flow here. On this order flow, if market create here any chalk flip, and then we can buy at least first high will be our target, right? Based on 15 minute time frame, market momentum is a bullish in a gold. And you have to pay attention here to mitigate this order flow is here. Last selling move before the buy is here, right? So this one is our unmitigated order flow is here, right? So once price mitigate this zone, then we can go higher. Okay. So this one is a possible scenario in a gold in a 15 minute time frame and four hour and daily time frame. In a five minute time frame, this one is an internal structure. Right now there is no correct uh, setup here based on five minute time frame. But you have to stick in a 15 minute time frame. At least follow the 15 minute and one hour time frame and five minute for the entry. Right. But if you are following the 15 minute, then you can follow the one minute or two minute for the entry module. Right. So this one is a Next zone, when we are looking for the buy to the upside. Okay. All right. Now let's switch on a Bitcoin, BTC, USDT. Bitcoin market are extremely bullish to the upside. 
let's switch here in a weekly time frame first to see exactly what happening okay market nearly on your and this point here because this one is our last uh, i think this one is a monthly time frame yes obviously so this one is our monthly candle if price mitigate this one then very highly chances that if we can see some short term move to the downside here right why because this one is our last unmitigated shadow and after that only one is here because this side will grab the liquidity that's why look at this one right so this one is our extreme point here right so price must be tapped on the first line and this one is our next one is here right because this one is our extreme okay if i switch here in a daily time frame then we can see what happening in a lower time frame in a daily time frame structure market trying to consolidate in a range and we can short term buy or sell in this range right if price mitigate any short term buy or sell opportunity then we can take right now the in a daily time frame there is no shell or buy opportunity you can play in a lower time frame like four hour and one hour time frame for the short term move to the upside and downside right here right because this one is our price type here this was our previous plus was here right because price type here and create sob and press give a small reaction and fail market trying to go higher and uh, we have to identify where is our last supply zone like demand zone last selling move before the buy this one because this one is the last selling move before the buy market taken out the investment and we are looking for the buy once market mitigated this zone right this one is our strong zone for the buy because just before this this one is our last selling move before the buy is here mitigate again price create here and push downside and mitigate this one then we can buy to the upside so this one is our possible scenario in a bitcoin in a based on one hour time frame as per the current price action market grab the liquidity when market grab the liquidity then market give or uh, give a small reaction to the upside so this one these uh, like move indicate that market trying to go higher before to uh, push downside so very highly chances that market can push downside after taking out this right and then market went down to mitigate this one and then market after mitigation this one and we can go higher something like this okay if market not create here anything is here why i'm marking this one because if you see here in a four hour time frame then we can understand because market grab the liquidity here the previous high is a sweep here so when market sweep the previous high or low which is indication that market looking for the reversal to the downside so this one is our previous high and this one is here right so this one is already mitigated by this pullback so only one thing is here right so if price step here around here then we can expect a downside move otherwise you can short term buy or sell based on one hour and five minute and 15 minute as well as here let's check a 15 minute time frame in a 15 minute time frame there is nothing here only one unmitigated order flow is here after taking out the inducement press tap here and create bullish indication then we can buy right so this one is our possible scenario in a bitcoin in a 15 minute time frame right here okay let's check here uh, bank nifty and after that i will start question answer session let's look at the first daily time frame structure what happening here in a daily time frame structure market momentum is a bullish here and when market momentum is a bullish and always we can buy here this one let's mark this one the last selling move before the buy is here i think this one is a partially mitigated here okay so when mark when market momentum is a bullish okay and market take around the inducement and mitigate your unmitigated order flow then we can buy so this one is a taken out inducement push downside and this one is still not mitigated here so you have to pay attention here if market mitigate this one and then we can expect actual move to the upside right okay if i switch here in a one hour time frame then we can see what happening here
in a one hour time frame right now the current situation here the previous lower lows lower high take this one lower lows and this was a chalk and boss and again we need a inducement now after taking out the inducement you have to identify where is our unmitigated order flow because just below it there is all order flow is mitigated here by this one and this one and only unmitigated order flow is available at this point so this one is our next unmitigated order flow when we can expect that if price type here and then we can buy to the upside in a bank nifty as per the one hour time frame right now okay once press tap here at create chalk flip and then we can buy till this high because market momentum is suppose if market not able to hold this one and fail this one then we can expect a downside move till this low because this one is our daily time frame unmitigated order flow right now okay so this one is our possible scenario in a nif bank nifty in a higher time frame right now okay if i switch here in a firmer time frame then we can understand this one is a short term move for the buy and sell based on five minute time frame the current situation is here in this case simply we can buy or sell after taking out the inducement so this inducement taken out we can sell here break this low and take a pullback mitigate this order flow we can sell till this low based on five minute time frame always you have to think before the buy and sell when market taken out the inducement then market give you actual move to the upside or downside okay so this one is a possible scenario let's start the question answer session Okay. Major and minor inducement play. Major and minor inducement only applicable when market momentum is a police and bearish and market create a small pullback. Okay, in terms of the candlestick formation, that's called minor. Major inducement only applicable when you are looking for the buy and sell. You have to identify the major move. That's called major. There is no big difference. To marking the structure, you can use both inducement. What is incident liquidity? Incident liquidity only applicable on extreme point. That's called here, yeah, which is I mentioned in a trading hub 2.0 that if market momentum is a bullish, right? And then what happened here? Market again go higher like this. Break the structure. Okay. The first pullback is a called inducement. If this one is an extreme order block right here. So this point become our engineering liquidity, which is must be taken out before continue go higher. That's it. There is no big difference. Okay. Please make a video on entry zone, those zones, entry model. Okay, sir, I noted and I will make a video on it. Don't worry. How to mark my first higher low. To marking a structure, I mentioned in a structure video that uh, you have to start from the top of the move and bottom of the move. If market momentum is a bullish, okay, then you have to start from the bottom of the move. When market like this, this one is our bullish move here, right? In a five minute time frame. Then you have to start from the bottom. You have to identify the previous structure. In this case, in a five minute time frame, inducement taken out, and this is our previous lower low, and this is a lower high. Break this one, okay? So this is a previous structure, and which point market break this high? This point, okay? So this point become chalk, and now you have to identify lower, break the structure, higher high, again higher high, break the structure, and this process will be continue. And same thing applicable in a bearish market. You have to start from the top of the move to bottom of the move.
ओके जी पी जी सर ऑन होमवर एनालिसिस एंड द रेस्ट एनालिसिस विल बी इन अ नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज आस्क वन बाय वन बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एबल टू रीड योर क्वेश्चन देर आर सो हंड्रेड्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर Please explain previous day, previous high. So previous day high low, like previous day or uh, like high and low act like a liquidity. If market momentum is suppose and market taken out the previous day low, uh, like this. If market momentum is suppose, okay, and this one zero previous day low. So again market push downside in the next day and market taken out the previous day low, then very highly chances that market continue go higher. ओके फेक चौक रियल चौक फेक चौक ओनली हैपन व्हेन मार्केट ब्रेक द प्रीवियस मेजर हाई और लो एंड जस्ट स्वीप नॉट क्लोज दैट्स कॉल्ड फेक चौक How to trade a stock? Same like forex market. When trading have four point zero coming, four point zero coming in a mid of two thousand twenty four. What will be price? Price say a four point zero at least three fifty dollar at least. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, three point zero members like who bought a three point zero subscription then four point zero will be get a uh, free of cost absolutely. ओके हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई हाई प्रोबेबिलिटी पीवाई हाई प्रोबेबिलिटी पीवाई ओनली एप्लीकेबल व्हिच पीवाई टेकन आउट द लिक्विडिटी व्हिच टेकन आउट द प्रीवियस इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल लिक्विडिटी राइट एंड यू हैव टू वेट फॉर इट टू मिटिगेट दोस पीवाई बिफोर द बाय और सेल order flow or order block order flow is a primary and order block is a secondary first of all after break the structure you have to identify inducement and then identify unmitigated order flow not order block order flow is a primary once market mitigate your order flow and create a reaction then you have to buy out that Okay. Please make a video on your thirteen. Yes, noted your uh, query. Can I crypto in a fifteen minute time frame as a high time frame? Ah, uh, right now in these day market uh, in a crypto market momentum are very strong and very good a volume. But uh, most of the time in a crypto market in a fifteen minute time frame is a very laggy and you will see very manipulation. That's why you have to at least use. One hour time frame in a crypto market for the day trading perspective. Okay, everyone. So I hope this will helpful uh, for you. And uh, okay. How to trade this one? I will make a separate video on it. No need to worry. And thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day and have a nice, great weekend, everyone. And I will, if you late or if you join late, then no need to worry. I will upload on YouTube as soon as possible. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day. Have a nice, great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you.